Okay, over the years I've had the uh, Mizuno MP33s. I've had the uh, MP62s. I've had the MP68s. And now, now, we've got the Mizuno JPX 919. Okay, so in this video, we're talking about what you do when you get a brand new set of irons. Now, you should have been fitted, so everything's, uh, you know, fit to your specifications. Mine are, uh, these are two degrees flat for me, standard length, uh, and so I've got the uh, Dynamic Gold S300-105 shafts in here. Everything's kind of built for, you know, my you know, swing abilities. When you get your irons, you really want to do some things so that they're going to be a little different than what maybe you tested or hit somewhere else. So, we need to know what's going on. So, I'm going to use my Swing Caddy SC300 and it's going to help so I know now that I have my clubs in my hand what my, what my carry distance is for every iron. We want to know that. And the gapping between clubs. And with this set, I got the four through gap wedge, and I also want to test out my pitching wedge and gap wedge to see if I want to keep those in the bag or go to, let's say, my uh, SM7s for my pitching wedge and gap wedge, sand wedge, lob wedge. I use it for my sand wedge and lob wedge, so I, I definitely want to make sure the gappings are correct and there's not too much distance between, let's say, my gap wedge with this set and my sand wedge from my S, uh, my Vokey SM7s. So, uh, and if there is, then I just swap out the JPX pitching wedge and gap wedge and I bring in the Vokeys for that. Because I'd rather have a distance between my pitching wedge and nine iron, more of a gap there, than let's say my gap wedge and sand wedge. That makes sense? Anyway, we're gonna go through it, get our numbers so that you know what you got. And then we'll do a full review of these bad boys in another video. This is just how to make sure you're dialed in for your new set of irons. Oh, and uh, there are links below for all the gear I'm using, and there's a discount link for the SC300 by Swing Caddy. If you're interested in that too, check that out. Get, uh, get a little discount on this bad boy. So the first thing I'm gonna do to start is compare my new gap wedge with my SM7 to see if we're kind of in the same ballpark in terms of distance and that kind of thing. So, uh, let's do it. First up is uh, my old gap wedge. Yeah, that's about where I like it. I don't like it to go too far. I'm about 100. 102 yards with uh, with my old one. That's not old, but that's my SM7. So let's see what my um, my JPX gets. Okay, now we kind of know what our gap wedge carry distance is, so we're gonna switch to the pitching wedge so we know that, and the distance between those two clubs. And so I'm gonna go through this with my entire set of irons, and just so you know, where you're at which, with each club. So you can do this at the range, in your net, with your launch monitor, whatever you can do to know your carry distance for every club, especially right after, they, right after you get them. And uh, you wanna get used to that. And so you know immediately when you hit the course how far every club on average with a decent shot goes. So go through the whole bag like this. There you go, just a little, well, sneak peek at the JPX 919. These feel really good. <laughs> First time I've hit them. And 
what you should do when you get a new set of irons and really how what's important it's carry distance is going to be your key factor in knowing what you know you could do out on the course so know your carry distance with your irons uh, especially when you get new irons you're gonna know it's gonna be different than your old irons to some degree and you got to know what a good shot equals and what a bad shot equals so that you can make good decisions on the golf course when there's trouble uh, in front of you or behind you and that's that kind of information is really going to save you out on the course because you'll know hey if I hit a bad shot it's only going 180 not 200 and where's trouble or you know where's your miss anytime you get new clubs this is information you're going to need to know so comment below let me know your thoughts and uh, we'll do a full review on these coming up really soon so thanks for watching love you guys we'll see you in the next video